Up for sale, 1975 Pontiac Granville Brome Convertible. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you're doing the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, a 75 Granville Convertible, finished in factory colors, loaded with options, uh, just over 59,000 original miles, and pretty much a mint example of this car. Um, of course, I'm going to go around and tell you everything I do know about it, talk about all the recent work that was done to it, uh, fire it up, drive it, and get in for the driving, show you how smooth it does go down the road. Um, we will start here in the front as always. Uh, it definitely is a one repaint of the original color, and they did a beautiful job. I mean, I mean, when you look at it, look how nice and shiny this is. Look how straight the body is, all, the fitment of the original panels on it. Um, I really don't know when it was done, but of course you're going to get some little blemishes on here from you, stuff like that. Um, but again, fitment of the hood, as well as the shine. I know you just saw that. Like, look look at the reflection on the brick there. Um, I left a 75 Illinois plate on there. I just thought it was kind of cool. Uh, but probably, you know, the original bumper, the bezels, whatnot like that, which actually, when you get up on it, look pretty sweet for original bumpers here cool as well as the rubber on this this is this is nice um, from what I see it has everything that it should have on there as well you know so it's not missing anything no pieces of trim stuff like that which is always a bonus let me go ahead here pop the hood and I guess I will flash the seat here the seat is mint back over yonder the previous owner had it since 2016 which i would say is a pretty good amount of time it's got his original 400 in there turbo 400 automatic power steering power brakes with let me just take a quick glance power brakes with front disc uh power windows cruise power top um ac which isn't hooked up but it's there uh power trunk which actually works cool very, very nicely optioned of course 75 you get a lot of options big convertible comes with a lot of options the previous owner recently new springs new shocks you can see there uh new bushings for the control arms uh new ball joints uh sway bar bushings in the front water pump timing chain timing chain cover new valve covers i have the original ones uh brake booster and master cylinder for the power front disc brakes um uh, you know, new oil filter, new alternator, stuff like that. New clutch, maybe, for the fan? I don't know. But but well, the, the right things were done to it. Anyway. Uh, and if, other than the valve covers being chrome and I having the original ones that would have just been painted, it looks very correct in here. It's got the right, you know, air cleaner on there with the snorkel. Um, and you can see there the new blue from all the new parts. The oil pan is new, so it's got a new... Uh, oil pan gasket on there of course so it's not you know gonna leak oil it's got new valve cover gaskets again you know not gonna leak oil um trying to think of anything else but again very original in here trim tag is in place there as always um nice clean it's got the sticker there in place which shows 400 cubic inch it also shows 400 cubic inch in the uh the vin yep smooth fires right up and uh yeah under hood is very clean as well and we'll go down the driver's side of the car as always and i love that it's got the pontiac wheels on there too i had a 73 bonneville with the same rims they look fantastic but anyway you get up on here really okay so a little nick and a little touch up but look at the quality of the paint here this is really nice and i like that they kept this white pinstripe on there it's it's vinyl, it could, should peel off. If you didn't like that, I think it looks pretty cool, as well as the white body stripe, which pretty much looks like the Delta 88 I have over there. Super nice fitment. The, the rocker molding all the way back looks great as well, and you can see how both uh, moldings separated by the door and the rocker there fit nicely. Um, I, I mentioned the door to the fender already fits nice. Um, the glass is exactly how you expect it to be for the miles. It's super, super nice, as well as, you know, trim, stuff like that. Um, top is clean. No rips on the top. Rear glass window. Nice 
nice fitment here all the way down and again you know do no door edge chips because you got the little molding here but i do see you know a couple minute marks there and uh popping inside now obviously a well-kept car and now that i'm looking at it this is z-bart rust proofing so there's a tab there it's missing some of the tabs which uh, you know, if you don't know, you take it, you take the car to Z-Bart when new and they shoot their undercoating in there. They drill those little holes, splatter it all over the bottom. That actually would be why uh, this is, this is rough because it would have had original undercoating on there. That's, that's a giant bonus. Um, again, because look here, look how nice it is in there. Because again, there's, for example, they shoot the, the, the Z-Bart in there. That's huge. Look how mint this is right here exactly what you want even the weather stripping is new stuff like that these look new lights work down there and the door panel looks fantastic really really nice I mean, look how clean this is again white bench seat power seat as well dash dash pad the dash pads mint uh, all the wood grain up here looks super nice let me back off just a little bit Wood grain looks super nice. Uh, all those gauges are working. That's, just, that's super cool as well. Really, really nice. Zoom out just a little bit. Carpet's clean. No rips in the carpet. Wow. Steering wheel's mint. Ugh. Pretty much exactly what you expect to see in the back seat. Make sure I got the key. You see a couple little marks right there. I want to refocus the camera. Okay. And I see a couple little bubbles right there above the, the skirt. The molding looks nice. And you see like a couple little stone chips there on the paint. And then it looks like a little peel right there in the clear. And then you get a good look at it. Well, no, maybe not right there, but just a little bubbling right there. A little bit right there. So again, common area, I assume, because of the trim, because of this, this uh, piece there. But this all lines up perfectly. Look at that. Bumper is just about the same as the front. We'll see. Start over there, clean, original. The rubber is super nice as well. Haggerty Pontiac Villa Park. Keep getting blinded by this piece of trim right there. And then right here on this lip, you see just a little bit of bubbles. But the trunk lid is super nice. Look at that, that fitment as well and then I'm gonna well, I'll show you this real quick and then just right here is a little bit more of that clear and then I want to do something real quick well let's see. Spare, these are your original valve covers, top boot, uh, tire iron, well, tire iron, jack, some over seats for work. Um, trunk pan is solid. It looks like it was painted at some point, got a little discoloration, but solid, it's original. I'm not gonna go through and disassemble it right now. Uh, but from underneath, you see that it's, you know, original. Look at that nice, look at that nice body stamping right there. And another nice one right there, which reminds me as well, also, New weather stripping in here. Really nice there. It's a big car. There's a lot of different things to think about. 
Look how nice that stamping is there. Close that one there. Anyway. See a little chip on the vinyl there. Not really many blemishes on this side of the car. The only one I see is a little touch up right there. Same deal for the glass, which is should be tinted glass. It's got that bluish look to it. Anyway, back down here, look how nice this is there as well. Again, they're Z-Bar tab. They're very delicate. They're just a piece of plastic. So sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. So just even just seeing one lets you know exactly what, you know, old history of the car. Will be up for sale later today on my website nextgenclassiccars.com and ebay. Uh, both links will be in the description of this video if you'd like to go ahead and check it out. 75 Pontiac Granville convertible. Vision factory colors, low miles, loaded with options, and recent work as well. And of course, white wall radial tires. There's a, some fuzz here, but a little touch up right in front of that. there so we are going to fire it up now and then drive it and uh, here we go Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, of course. You always do. So this is what it was like to be wealthy in 1975, right? No? It was probably an Eldorado. To be somewhat wealthy in 1975. Or a Lincoln. <laughs> what happened? No, my sweatpants slipped on the seat. You slid over. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Yeah, if you armor all the seats, these vinyl seats too much, you do slide around. Yeah, but it's not vinyl. I mean, it's not even... No, it's nice. This, this is just... Yeah. This is clean. It's a nice naga hide. Did you say naga hide? I don't know. Documented. <laughs> yeah. It's exactly what you expect it to be. This, you, you belong on Lakeshore Drive going down... Yeah. Into, uh, 
I picked the ladies up on the dates in this. Yeah. <laughs> you need a pimp hat. Norbit. Like those guys from that movie. <laughs> <laughs> what they, oh, that one guy had that thing outside. Yeah. Oh, I'm watching a video on YouTube. No, I'm, I'm watching a video on something on YouTube, and they're getting picked up in a 59 Cadillac Eldorado convertible, pink, with white interior. <laughs>